Hey everyone and welcome back to my final part of my Disney Blu-ray collection. So today I'm going to go over the Pixar Blu-ray releases and the live action Blu-ray releases. Alright, so to start off, first up is Toy Story. Next up is Toy Story 2. I think that's the weakest of the, of the three, if I'm honest. My favourite is Toy Story. And Toy Story 3. All look great with slip covers. Next up got Monsters Inc followed by Monsters University this is the steelbook version I would have preferred some sort of text on the front and again some more text on the side next is my favorite Pixar movie Finding Nemo haven't yet checked out Finding Dory so I'm looking forward to that finally getting a release at some point on blu-ray now Ratatouille probably my least favorite of the Pixar movies I just, I really don't get on with this film, but I had to have it for the collection. Up, oh, I must say that this Blu-ray slip cover is beautiful. All the, it's all embossed. Yeah, all the blooms are embossed. It's all nice embossed front cover. So up, oh, beautiful, beautiful story. Qu quite an emotional film to begin with. Uh, yeah, real great entry into the Pixar library. Uh, Bugs Life, love that slip cover. Brave. Yeah, it's entertaining, but probably one of the weakest Pixar movies. Not really been back and rewatched it since I've uh, seen it. Wally, great, great film here. It just shows that you can uh, have such a magical movie without any actual dialogue, and it's just based on visuals and simple actions, which just just work, just work. It's a great movie, Wally. Uh, the Incredibles. Inside Out, I need to revisit it. I first watched it on a plane to New Zealand and I didn't really enjoy it, but everyone was raving about it last year about how much of a wonderful and emotional movie it is. So I picked it up in one of the Disney's infamous buy one get one free, so I'm looking forward to revisit it. It might just because I was tired. But anyway, that's Inside Out. Uh, Cars is next. And the extremely disappointing sequel, Cars 2. Next is Planes. Uh, not very good this one. This is when the uh, Savvy did the steelbook releases and I was kind of in steelbook craze and picked it up. Not seen the sequel. I think it's Fire and Rescue. No interest in picking that one up, but yeah. Planes. Right, now into live action. And it's Cinderella. Really, really enjoyed this one, actually. A real surprise for me. Sometimes uh, the live action movies are, are extremely disappointing, but I've got to say this one is actually an enjoyable one. Uh, next, Lone Ranger, uh, Steelbook. Again, I'm a sucker for Western, so I really like the Western theme in this. And to be honest, I enjoy it. Next up, it's probably one of my favourite Steelbooks I own. I own quite a few, and this is probably one of my favourite with an Art Nouveau style cover, uh, The Rocketeer. Brilliant film, brilliant Steelbook. Next up is the Pirates collection. I'll do it as all. So you got obviously the Curse of Black Pearl. Dead Man's Chest at World's End, and then the fourth one on Stranger Tides. I enjoy the Pirates, they're guilty pleasure, I suppose. I, first one's the best, the Curse of Blackpool, but yeah, I really enjoy the, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Alright, next up is the extremely, extremely disappointing Alice in Wonderland. I do like the slipcover, but yeah, I just don't get on with it. I'm a, I'm a Tim Burton fan, but this one just doesn't work for me. Sorry, Tim. Frank and Weenie, great film. I love um, I love stop motion animation. So if I'm once a bit of a fanboy, uh, stop motion, I'll like it. <laughs> but yeah, Frank and Weenie, enjoyable. Right, again, guilty pleasures coming here. Nicolas Cage in the National Treasure and National Treasure Two. One of them films you can just put on and watch. In my opinion, all the time, just put it on. Brain dead. Yeah, great. I love them. All right, next up. It's a beautiful steelbook release of Tron, the original. I've got that artwork to me, it's absolutely fantastic. Love that, the airbrushed uh, design there, and especially on the back there. Yeah, great steelbook, great movie. Uh, yeah. Next up is the sequel, uh, Tron Legacy. One of the best movie soundtracks out there by Daft Punk. The visuals, the sound, great. Shame about some of the uh, uh, CGI, uh, but yeah, I really enjoy Tron. 
and I'm there. Because I love it that much, I had to pick up the Steelbook version. Still sealed, won't open it, but yeah, great, great design there. Next up is Language of the Wardrobe, Narnia. I've all I've grew up watching these and uh, reading the book, so I have a really, it's have a real close place in my heart. So I love that one. And the second release by Disney, Prince Caspian, goes downhill. Uh, it's enjoyable, but not a patch, a patch on Lion, Witch and Wardrobe. Next is Maleficent. Uh, I've only seen this once, and I didn't really enjoy it, so I need to re go and revisit it. But yeah, Maleficent. Extremely enjoyable, surprisingly enjoyable, Into the Woods. I'm not the biggest musical fans, but this one, for whatever reason, works for me. I enjoyed it. Next is one of my favourite movies of all time. That's Night Before Christmas. Uh, Tim Burton didn't direct it, but Tim Burton uh, presents. Fantastic movie here. Again, stop motion with Jack Skeleton. Uh, great. Watch it every Halloween and every Christmas Eve. Oz the Great and Powerful. Yeah, actually enjoyed this one. Uh, eclectic cast, I'll say, but yeah, always good. The classic, classic Mary Poppins. I mean, 50th anniversary, it's a bloody old film. Still, Dick Van Dyke, you can just pull it on and just nostalgia for me. And the music, the animation, yeah, real pioneer of film. And to follow that up, Saving Mr. Banks, great movie. If you want to learn a bit more about Disney, Walt Disney, specifically in the whole development and how well uh, Mary Poppins was made watch this film I really enjoy it recommend it next is Tomorrowland the world beyond the UK title a bit like Marmite I must admit some people like it some people hate it I'm actually one of the few who likes it a Christmas Carol enjoy it uh, great beautiful animation really beautiful um, uh, computer CGI animation and Jim Carrey, yeah, good performance. I suppose another non Marmite film, John Carter. I mean, that's a bold statement on the front, isn't it? Star Wars for a new generation. It's no Star Wars for a new generation, but it is, if I'm honest, a bit of a popcorn guilty pleasure. Check it out. And finally, I'm just chucking there with Miracle. Fantastic. Disney do some great uh, kind of sport uh, movies. And this is the only one I've got on DVD. I think I have D. Oh, sorry, on Blu-ray on DVD. I've, uh, Invincible, I believe it is. With, uh, yeah. Anyway, so Miracle starring Kurt Russell, where he plays a coach of the U.S. Olympics ice hockey team. Uh, love ice hockey as a sport. So Disney plus ice hockey plus Kurt Russell must have. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Just whip through the completion of my uh, Disney Blu-ray collection. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.